Hi, let's discuss decrease and concurrence. I already discussed decrease and concurrence in chapter 1 that is algorithm analysis. If any recurrence relation is in the form of Tn equals to A T n minus B. Due to this n minus b, it is decrease in concurrent recurrence. It can be n minus 1, it can be n minus 2, it can be n minus 3. We are decreasing by 1 and we are trying to solve. Decrease in concurrent is of three types. One is decrease by constant, another is variable size decrease, another is decrease by constant factor. This recurrence relation is for decrease by constant, first type. We can decrease by 1, we can decrease by 2, decrease by 3, like this. Suppose one recurrence relation is in this format, we can identify it is a decrease and concur recurrence. A value should be greater than 0, B value should be greater than 0 and T of D equals to C, some constant. For this D, D is the initial condition, N value should be greater than D. We need to check A and F of N. So there are three cases, if a value less than 1, a value equals to 1 and a value greater than 1. If a value less than 1, then running time will be order of f of n. If a value equals to 1, running time will be n multiplication f of n. If a value greater than 1, then running time will be order of a power n divided by multiplication f of n. Rather than master theorem, we can also apply backward substitution method or recursion tree method for decrease and concur recurrence. Some examples of decrease and concur recurrence are first example t of n equals to t of n minus 1 plus 1. There are n element we are decreasing by 1 and we are trying to solve. Suppose we will apply master theorem. What is A? Nothing is given means A equals to 1. A equals to 1 means case 2. Running time will be order of n multiplication f of n. What is f of n? f of n is 1. So it is order of n. Example 2, t of n equals to t of n minus 1 plus n. Here also a equals to 1. Running time will be order of n square. n multiplication this f of n. f of n is n so order of n square. Example 3, t n equals to t of n minus 1 plus log n. a equals to 1. So running time will be order of n log n n multiplied by fn, here fn is log n. Example 4, tn equals to n multiplication tn minus 1 plus 1. Here what is a? a value is n and which is greater than 1. So it comes under case 3. Running time will be order of n power as a equals to n, n divide b, b equals to 1, so n power n and fn equals to 1. So running time is order of n power n. Next example 5, tn equals to 2tn minus 1 plus 1. Here a value is 2. a value is greater than 1 so comes under case 3. Running time will be 2 power n. n divide b, b is what? 1. So 2 power n. Next example 6, tn equals to 2tn minus 1 plus n. Here a equals to 2 and f of n equals to n. So running time will be order of 2 power n divided by b is 1. Multiplication f of n. f of n is what? n. So it will be 2 power n multiplication n or you can write n 2 power n. Next example 7. tn equals to half t n minus 1 plus log n. This half is our a and a value is less than 1. When it is less than 1, running time will be simply f of n. So running time will be order of log n. I applied master theorem. You can also apply back substitution or recurrence tree method. I already discussed how to apply back substitution and recursion tree method in chapter 1. If any recurrence is given, first identify whether it is decreased and concurrent recurrence or not. If one recurrence is in this format, t of n equals to a t n minus b plus f of n, then it is a decrease and concur recurrence. 
or we can say decrease by constant recurrence. In that case, we can apply this master theorem. Also, we can apply back substitution or recursion tree method. With this, I am finishing decrease and conquer technique. In next lecture, I will discuss divide and conquer technique. If this lecture is helpful for you, please like and subscribe. Thank you.